page C9, Gallia, aponeurotica, the cranial fascia, the coverings of the skull and scalp. That's exciting. That's exciting, huh? <laughs> I love this one, too. <laughs> I'm using my fingertips just to move the coverings of the scalp on the layers underneath, on the bone and fascias underneath, feeling do they move freely in each direction? Are there any places that they don't move? Are there places that are thicker than others? Just feeling for restriction and tough spots. The metaphor is moving the rind on the melon. Feeling that surface, the surface layer is separate enough that they can move in every direction. Are you working bilaterally? Yeah, I got both hands. I'm working bilaterally, it's a question. Working around this way, this way. Feeling for movement in those layers. I'm not scrubbing on the hair. You know, I'm, I'm moving the layers against each other and against the bone. And you can be systematic here. You can make sure you get the whole scalp. And I'm also using pressure, I'm using the tips of my fingers, and I'm using quite a bit of pressure to really get those tough fibrous adhesions to release. Anything this is specially indicated for? Yeah. Life in the civilized world, probably. <laughs> Tension headaches. Tension headaches. No, that's more specific. Uh, insomnia, mm -hmm. okay. vision issues, eye strain, okay. too much computer time, jaw problems. Uh, anybody think of any others, other indications? Stress. Stress. Headaches. Contra indicated with hair extensions. Okay. <laughs> what are hair extensions? Is that like root, little, roots, oh, little chunks plugs? Chunks of glue with hair in them that they glue uh, hot glue onto the hair. They're expensive. And they're a mess. <laughs> That's <laughs> not the same as a, the little plugs the guys get. No. Okay. This no, is no, actually no, gluing no, hair on. Hair All right. Okay. Any question? Any more questions? Serious or not about this? Yes. Yeah. Are, are, is there any thought on cysts on the head? Uh, hmm. I haven't found them. Have you found cysts on the head? On my own. On your own? <laughs> they can be anywhere. Actually, forehead sometimes is a common place for them, too. Uh, fatty cysts, yeah. you know, usually benign, just little fatty inclusions in the layers of the skin. You'd, uh, you're unlikely to, to change it much with this level of work. Okay. Yeah. Unlikely to either hurt it or help it is my probable opinion. Although, you know, one, there's probably a mechanical factor in cysts. There's probably some, they're probably reflecting some sort of strain or tension. Not always, they're kind of random sometimes, you know. But the places they appear, like in the wrist or in the scalp, there are different kinds of cysts, or in the upper back, tend to be places that have a lot of tension in them. So maybe this is preventative, or maybe it's, it's helpful. OK. And again, it was when I was on the table realizing, like, you know, someone would put their elbow someplace, and it was like, you could stay there for, like, I don't know, like, three to seven years. Like, I am not done. Like, there's so much work that's happening while you're just sitting there. Um, and since then, since that class, I've my work my work is always slow. My work has always been slow. Um, and it slowed down like <laughs> a lot. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm pretty much static. But so much happens. You know, like when you're really paying attention. I don't know. I don't know. If you're really paying attention, you can feel like all kinds of crazy things that happen while you're just, it's just hanging out there. Do you do body work? I have, yeah, before. Yeah. Right, you do this. <laughs>